keeping track, we've reviewed the Range Rover Sport, the Infiniti QX80, and of course the outgoing Highlander. That means there's only one car left today to review, Nathan, and that is... The Dodge Durango, baby. And this is TFL's Mega Mashup. That's right. Three rows of destiny. Mega Mashup. And <laughs> we're going to no, do the last car today. Coming up next... On the Fast Lane Car. Three rows of destiny. With the brand new Dodge Durango, you have a few changes, mostly in the front end, a little bit in the rear end. It looks fantastic. I love it. It's aggressive. It's manly. And at the same time, they managed to change a little bit of the hood around, too. It's awesome. So, Nathan, we've got a Happy Hippo yeah. Infinity. Then we have a Jaguar for the Range Rover. Now, I think the Toyota, I'm going to give that a startled turkey. Startled turkey. Startled oh, Those eyes just <laughs> bulge out. How about this? What do you call this? I'm going to call this Muhammad Ali. It's ready to do a rope-a-dope. It's ready to kick your... We got three animals and a boxer. Muhammad Ali. Three animals and a boxer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, no. I play it my way because I'm a man with this vehicle. Dude, bird of prey, bird of prey. Bird of prey, okay. An eagle. A hawk. Better. better hawk. Better, better. Okay? Okay. All right, Nathan, we are in the Durango now. Smooth, in the groove. <laughs> yeah, in the groove. <laughs> and I like the way it feels like a driver's car. I really do. That's, folks, look, they didn't come and give me a thousand dollars to say something nice about it. I'm saying something nice about it because, quite frankly, it's a really well put together vehicle, and it feels like a sports wagon. Surprise! It's a Pentastar. Yeah, I wish it had the Hemi too. This particular engine is pretty much in every Chrysler product now, including the Wrangler, the Grand Cherokee, but it's a good engine. 3.6 liters, puts out 290 horsepower and 260 pound-foot of torque, and it's made it to what, Nathan? Eight-speed automatic transmission, woohoo, which means better gas mileage and it can tow up to 6,200 pounds. Yeah, respectable. Yeah, it's not going to let me rev past uh, 4,000 RPM, which is kind of a bummer. But then again, it's the Pentastar. It's a V6 with the Hemi. It sounds fantastic. Yeah, this is the, I called it the hot rod of the group. Yep. I mean, not with the Pentastar, but with the Hemi with the RT package. It is one badass looking manly SUV. Absolutely is. And you know what? I gotta say something else. Even with the Pentastar, it's a pretty damn good vehicle. If you don't need the extra growl of the engine and if you want more efficiency, combined it gets 19 miles per gallon, which isn't too terribly bad. And it has the eight speed automatic transmission, which is really efficient on the highway. Yeah, that's the same as the Highlander. I mean, that's impressive. And the interior here is miles above the Highlanders. It certainly is. Dodge has come a long way when it comes to interior styling and it's nice and quiet and it's compliant and it's comfortable. Go for a ride, man. Let's see what it drives like. guys paddle shifters hockey puck style gear selector probably one of the best infotainment systems in the business thick leather bound steering wheel nice materials what is there not to love on the inside of this car it's uh, kind of punching above its weight in terms of what the interior is like it feels expensive and it's not as expensive as the other cars which cost almost eighty thousand dollars so it's, you sit in it you know you don't sit on top of it like you do like the uh, qx80 okay i sit on top of that vehicle right yeah and this i'm sitting inside i, mean, the I can see like like, like gangsta style yeah well, that's what andre does andre <laughs> drives like a pimp he does <laughs> that's why i have the shirt that says pimp in russian guys if you ever wondered why how about the steering feel what's that like Best in class. Yeah. It's a little, right now, I'm not going too terribly fast, so it's kind of light, but once you really start getting on it, then it gets nice and heavy, and 
there is a little bit of simulated steering feel that it imparts and frankly it's more than any other vehicle I can think of in its class more so than the Ford Explorer and the Ford Explorer Sport which is a rocket isn't this cool you know that little infotainment system with cool video that pops up my kids absolutely love it Nathan look Hershey will Andre run into it let's find out look at him go angry Russian oh wow so that good damn he's good Come on, Nathan, get that out of there. Now what are you doing that? Shut up and leave me alone. What are you doing that thing, man? I'm going to put it right here where the kids normally go. All right, now I'm going to get in here. There's definitely more room than the Highlander. And... Uh, They're going to close. I can tell right now you're big head. <laughs> Want me to try? Yeah, go ahead and try. All right, I'm going to try. Here we go. Where's the button? No, it's always on the side. Yeah, right there where my foot is. Nathan, say good night. Good night, Nathan. Hold on. My butt's sliding down. <laughs> I don't have as much ass to put on here, okay? Nathan, I think we've determined that all these cars have no room in the back with the seats up. Actually, this one's not too bad. Yeah, you can put some grocery bags in here, but it's still pretty tight. It's so, got more than the Highlander. It does have more. That one has zero room. That has yeah. the least amount of room. So there's only one way to find out which is better. Zero to 60. Zero to 60. Let's go do it. Come on. Alright guys, I am in the Durango, 0-60 to 60 at a mile above sea level, which means it's going to be slower, about a second slower than you would get it at sea level. I don't have any kind of sport mode, just drive. I've got pedal shifters, but they're usually slower, so I'm just going to floor it. Here we go. Floored! I wish I had the Hemi. There's 40, there's 50, and here comes 60 right there. Oh my. You know, it's a big, heavy seven passenger beast of a car so the time is definitely slower than the Range Rover and definitely slower than the Infiniti here it is check it out 9.71 9.71 okay one more time check it out slow deal set up there is the digital speedometer I'm gonna to torque it a little bit here we go and I'm just let go here we go There's 60. And well, yeah, about the same, not much better. So there you have it. We have a time for the Durango. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, what do you give this Dodge Durango? The limited, lease it, the RT, buy it, easy. Okay, yeah, I agree. The RT buy it, the Limited, with the V6, which is a great V6, but I'd say lease it. I really love the V8. We've driven the V8, we know how good it is. This one's really good, but not quite as good. Oh my, Nathan, that was a mega mashup. Three rows of destiny. All right, so here's the question. If it were your money, which of these four would you buy? I really like that Range Rover, but if I had a family with a big trailer and all that other stuff, I'd consider this, but that Durango really fits my personality. Oh, dude, just pick one, one. The Durango, especially because the RT with the V8. All right, Range Rover, I love that car. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. Thing. Thanks for watching four days and the mega mashup. That's right, three rows of destiny. Remember, subscribe for a new car video every day, and ciao. Bye.